Hello. I forgot to turn on the mic. And welcome to another... To an actual spooky game. And hopefully it's only spooky in the ways it intends and not the volume being too loud. I, I tested a little bit. I didn't want to spoil myself in the game, so I didn't play a lot of it. Um... I played like a little bit into the intro to get a sense of how loud it is, and uh, I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm a little worried that it might be too loud, but we can adjust it as we go. Hey, welcome, Amako. Glad to have you here. How are you doing? Uh, so I should explain what I'm playing, actually, right? Uh, so this is... Fatal Frame, kind of. Um, I guess the Japanese version was Project Zero, or that's what they called it in Japan. And so this is like the European, that's why there's, that's why there's a TV settings for 50 hertz. This is the European ver release, patched with, uh, I think the changes are Japanese VO, um, subtitles in your preferred language, and they also like restored the character models. Some of the character models are apparently made to be more like quote unquote Western for the like uh, NTSC and your... European power releases, um, which is weird. I've only seen, I've seen a little bit of this game before, so it's not a total surprise, but I'm, I'm really, hey, welcome, Mav. Welcome, Everinthia. So yeah, this is like a more, a like slightly more truthful to the original game, but accessible to English speaking, um, Japanese illiterates like me. I can't read Japanese. And actually, that might be a problem. I know there's at least one puzzle that involves kanji on a clock face, I think. We'll see. If I need help during that, then we have the internet and anyone in chat who knows who knows what the solution is uh, to help us. So let's just jump into it. Um, oh yeah, I should turn the volume up because that's what I set the game volume based on. Uh, brightness. Oh, just the brightness on your TV. It's like, no, no, the game doesn't give you brightness options. It's just brightness. But luckily, I think you can see all four people, right? You can see our our protagonist girl and the ghosts. Um, if I had done... So I got to shout out my capture card, kind of. Um, I'm using a UVGA XR1 Lite, L-I-T-E. Because it does a really good job. Like you see, you see how it turns out. It's not even flickering, and we're getting sixty frames per second. Like it's deinterlaced and everything. However, if I update the firmware, any uh, it'll ruin the like color range. And so, like this shot, you would not be able to see some of the ghosts in this shot <laughs> if I did the firmware upgrade. So I had to do like a factory reset to get this thing to work properly. Otherwise, it's really cool and it's cheap. If you want a cheap um, HDMI capture card, this is the one. Yeah, you wonder why they did that? Yeah, I don't know. I think the, like, professional... Um, the, like, proper... Um, version of it... Yeah, EVGA XR1 Lite, L-I-T-E. I think there's a regular XR1 that had the same problem. I saw people who had forum posts of, like, playing Mortal Kombat or something, and it's like, hey, why are the... why are the... why is the, like, black level wrong? You know? It's specifically that, like, darker colors just don't show up at all. But anyway, we're gonna just jump in. It's like bleach. I'm gonna try not to talk during the cutscenes, because auto-captions will overlay the subtitles. Siblings stick together. Also, I notice the subtitles are a little delayed sometimes from the audio. Anyway, 
う人の行方を追っていました有名な作家であり兄の恩人でもある高峰純正さん高峰さんは取材旅行中に姿を消してしまったのです兄から高峰さんの足取りがつかめたという連絡があった時なぜだか兄が遠くに行ってしまうような気がして。The atmosphere. Oh, yeah, it's probably it's probably timed differently because the dub was timed differently. Yeah, that makes sense. I kind of assumed that the patch created their own subtitles, but I guess they did. Oh, yeah, that's probably what it was. Uh, I was going to say, I, I kind of assumed that the. Uh, uh, also, I think I need to change the controls to like Resident Evil style. Oh my god, there are H. There are H many types.、Um, this game does fix camera angles, and I think it's going to mess with me to have the analog stick be camera relative, because you'll like cross a boundary and you're not moving in the right direction. And、anyway, I was going to say, I assumed that the. I assume that the patch creators came up with their own subtitles, but maybe they pulled them from. Maybe that's why they used the European version, because that one. Maybe that one had subtitles in it to use. So that would make sense. <laughs> Anyone want to go with the research of book material? Yeah, totally.、It's、the spooky mansion that、uh, had some, like, crimes in it many years ago that were never solved. Okay, right. Subjective move. Move. Wait. Bonus functions. Take photograph. Special functions. Red characters are doing finder mode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's stick with type B, I think. Triangles menu, finder, on or off. We can take a photograph with L1 or X and run. We're gonna have to run. Oh no.、Uh, Alright, and vibration is good. Okay, so I know there's stuff like. I know a little bit of stuff. Like there's, um. Oh, cool, we got a quick turn. Like there's, um. um I gotta remember Resident Evil controls though, if I'm gonna do this.、Uh, there's like. Oh, uh. Here, here? There are like ghosts you can miss? Yeah, like this, that they like, the rumble will like point you towards them. So there is a child. I guess. Gosh. I. I've been playing too much Monster Hunter on PS2, or I'm so used to it that I'm used to. The circle confirm X cancel, and that's not how this game works, because it's still it's still the Western release. Yeah, child oh child behind. It's like a child facing away from us. Can't even make it out. I don't know what protect means. I guess like store it. So it doesn't get overwritten. Oh, is there? Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe there is an option in the,、uh, in the settings to change it. Except this game does the X to select and triangle to exit. I think maybe I'll just. Maybe I'll just leave it as it is because otherwise that gets too confusing. Let me check, though. I don't want to stick around in the menu too much. Nah. Move finder type. Is like reverse. I think it's, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll live with it. I just I have to learn to get used to the、um, tank controls anyway. 
Oh, in the patch, you mean? Oh, maybe. Maybe there was a version of the patch that I could have taken. Let's see what this is. Oh, a box of film. Type 14. I think I can use it with my cam. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, the camera is this old um, camera obscura. I don't know what this is called exactly. But it's got Japanese symbols around it because it's a bit like magic. Maybe. It's got some special powers. You can take photos with X or R1 while in finder mode. Right? You can control the player's viewpoint. Square to move quickly and triangle to turn around. Oh no. And use right analog to move around while in shooting stance. Oh jeez. So like... We can uh... We can do we can do like first person mode. And this is fast move and slow move. And triangle to turn around. Nice. Cool. This is PS2, so like Resident Evil had been out for so long and other other such oh and he's looking at a point of interest. These, uh, the style of, uh, third-person, like, fixed-camera game was, uh, pretty well-trod path. What's this? There's an old camera here. I think I can take a shot. Oh, save points. Okay. And if we have multiple types of film, I think this is where we swap them out. Oh, register the photo data. Uh, I didn't- I, we haven't taken any photos that I think is worth saving. Okay. It's saving. Ooh, that makes me a little worried. I, I am on hardware, so uh, I've got to worry about potential hardware failures uh, because it's old, old machine. But I don't know. My optical drive has, or my uh, CD drive has always been pretty good. At, good here. Yeah, I think that little light in the bottom right lights up if there's like a spirit around. Oh yeah, and we can flashlight around. Luigi's Mansion takes some uh, some inspiration from this. Yeah. What's down here? Countless eerie handprints here. Red handprints. Blood. I hope this isn't Chris's blood. Oh, uh, uh. Oh, I think I missed him. Yeah, rope hallway man. We got him. Boy, <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn to do that. Should have brought a pol the poltergust. Oh, that's true. Maybe our sister has it. Did we learn their names? I thought I was paying attention during the cutscene, but I don't remember if we learned their names or not. Only shows my own reflection. Were you expecting something else? Oh, there's nothing here. Oh wait, there's a door. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to use the D-pad or the uh, analog stick to move yet. D-pad feels a little bit more reliable. Hmm. I don't know. The I'll try. I'll try the analog. I think that that's good for moving and turning at the same time.
wonder if we'll need to use the flashlight aiming at some point. So far it seems kind of like not relevant. There's an old suit of armor here. Doesn't seem to be just for show. I've seen some hard use. Really? How old is this place? These are like actual like used antiques. Huh. Maybe there wasn't an option to flip the buttons. Ah, oh, yeah. Sometimes there is. Sometimes there are with uh, these like Japanese version patches. Monster Hunter ones uh, have like a... At least some of the Monster Hunter 1 patches have that option sometimes. Old Lion Mask. Just know the owner's hobby. Yeah, maybe. And some, like, spiderweb thread. Or at least, I like to think that that's actually a thread. And not, like, uh, not some kind of, like, artifacting. Hmm. Can we not look at this stuff? It might have been worth something at some point. Oh, I got a rumble. I feel like I might have missed something already. There's something over this way. It's funny because I'm like getting the rumble, but y'all won't. There's no feedback visually. Oh. Uh, where'd you go? Don't look away, man looking down. Don't look around now. I kind of love how some of the jump scares are like, Oh no, I have to take the picture quickly or I'm not going to get a chance. That's the one thing I remember from uh, playthroughs. I've seen like partial playthroughs of this, but nothing, nothing like complete. And I don't really remember much of it. But part of it is the like, Oh, there's a ghost. You can catch it. You can catch it on film. Quick. And I kind of love that. Ninktrong scroll is hanging here. It looks like a woman crying, but it's faded. Is it? I wish we could walk backwards. It's a little too low resolution. You know, funny enough, on this, uh... I kind of like the film grain effect on this whole thing. I think it works well for, uh, for this, for this game being about film cameras and things. Yeah, jump scare missing the moment. Exactly! A lot of a lot of horror games have the opposite problem where like you'll miss the jump scare and you'll just hear a sound and you'll be like, wait, what was that? Did something happen? I wanna say Dead Space does that a few times. For all of its otherwise um successful things. Oh, where is it? You see the blue. It's like here in the clock. <laughs> what does blue mean? No, no. The blue come to haunt me again. There's no clock here. It's full of blue. What does blue mean? It's been stopped for a while. There are cobwebs. Okay. Oh no, maybe it's something beyond the wall. Okay. I can hear this like chittering. I guess y'all let me know if the game is too loud or too quiet. It should be... at like a decent level, I think. Or the level that I like to have it, which is around minus 15, minus 16 decibels. At most. I mean, right now it's supposed to be quiet, I guess. <laughs> it's my FA.
God, the control is rumbling with his heartbeat. It's like beating, it's like rumbling, it's pulsing. Shooting ghosts. <laughs> 101. Hold up the camera with the circle button and press the shutter with the X button to attack ghosts. When the target is inside the circle, power accumulates. The damage you inflict on the ghost goes up as you accumulate more power in the camera. Oh, that's right. I, this is such a clever idea. You don't want to just shoot the ghost right away. I mean, you can, but like for the most efficacy, you want to like stare at the ghost until the thing fills up while they're like slowly lumbering toward you. It's super tense. <laughs> Shutterbug moment. Do the shutterbug. I know, it's the wrong one, but you know. I do the shutterbug. Oh, well, you've got the ghost in your viewfinder. Uh, and the circle glows. Take a shot. You can inflict heavy damage when you take a shot during a shutterbug moment. Okay. Gotcha. Hey, 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 hey. He took a lot of damage from It's almost like a parry or something. Like it's about to attack or... or yeah. <laughs> シャエキと言って見えないものを映し取る力がある。この機械に霊を封印する力があると知ったのは、ある事件がきっかけだった。うん。You in Japanese, something like that. Ah. It's like chance time. Mario. Photo photo chance. Oh, there's something behind the bookshelf bookshelf. Bookshelf bookcase, isn't there? Uh, can I move it? There are dark rituals along the man that lived here. Also, this Takamine had like a had a real posse with him, didn't he? Hmm. Okay, I guess there's nothing I can do in here unless we can like go up the steps a little bit. I imagine maybe we. Can come back later. I feel like this is another one. This is the second one of these chests I've seen. Are we like able to do anything with these? No, not the books. Uh, I guess not. Oops. I keep hitting down <laughs> on the uh, analog, which is a quick turn. Ooh. 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 I get you. Shut your chance for chance. Shut the chance. What is shutter chance, which is borrowed from English photographers? Is that a phrase that English photographers used? Or just like shutter shutter as in like camera shutter? Wait, what's, what's even over here? I gotta say also, for the like tank control gameplay style, having having what's effectively a, can a first person mode to like look ahead. Oh no, I can't see him from up here. Oh man, I missed it. Ah, uh, rats. I don't know how you're supposed to get that one. Like there's no mirror in here. Oh, you've heard some photographers use shutter chance. I believe it. 
might be older jargon since digital cameras don't have shutters. Yeah. And I mean, this camera doesn't do, uh, definitely is an older time uh, from an older time where they do have shutters. So it makes sense to call it shutter chance. Oh, that's right. I forgot I can run. It's not much of a run. Maybe I could have ran downstairs and caught that ghost. I'm not going to... I'm not going to uh, fret about it too long. Oh. Oh, you know what? There's space behind these screens. Let's go look. Whoops. Wait. It's a little awkward to move around. Oh, never mind. One of those weird phrases that went from English to Japanese, and then when taking it from Japanese, it gets translated differently. Yeah. Uh. Something in here? No. No zoom on this camera either, because it's one of it's one of them old ones. Oh, you know, maybe there isn't anything behind these screens. We got to go back downstairs. Find the key to this pad. Oh, that's nice. We can we can actually run down the stairs. Oh wait. Oh, did the ghost drop something? Or open something? Whoops. No. I thought I saw a shiny. Markings on the camera are either Sanskrit or a made-up al magical alphabet. Really? Uh, I wonder where you can find them. Oh no, there's just a clock. Oh, you know what? This in-game clock has the characters for telling time on it. So maybe I can use that when we get to the time puzzle. Uh, no, I don't see any. I was hoping that we could see something that, like, shows the... Oh, wait, here we go. No? Oh, it doesn't actually show the thing. Shutter <laughs> Shutterbug moment. I mean, Shutterbug is more like a... It more, like, describes a person who takes cameras reckless... Uh, takes photos recklessly than the actual thing. Uh... Yeah, we don't we don't get to look at the camera close up like before. But we can find it online if we want to. That's interesting. I wonder if it is supposed to be Sanskrit. I was gonna say, I wonder what the characters are supposed to be. Uh the characters that like are on the camera and that fill up when we uh when we look at the ghosts. Hmm. He is looking at that bar door like it's important, but I guess... I guess it's just an interactable... Although she says brother, I know enough. Ja I know enough Japanese to recognize that she just said brother. Oh, so yeah, uh, maybe a content warning first. Uh, uh, nooses, the strangling ritual. Uh, we got color now.
Oh, she's not an evil spirit? Is that why is that why we were drawn here? Oh, we don't have the camera. That's right. Because Mafuyu had the camera. Oh, the camera markings on the camera are... Oh, sorry. I thought that was a new message. <laughs> I thought you found out something, Mav. Uh, okay. Let's look around. This is cool. I, for, I kind of assumed the whole game was going to be in film. Uh, with film grain. But, uh, this makes much more sense. She looks so tiny. Like, like she's just, like she's, uh, part of it, I guess, is the, the entire area being very big. But also, she makes her seem kind of vulnerable. We gotta protect, we gotta protect Mufuyu's sister, who I don't remember, I don't know what her name is. Can we interact with the flight? So let's uh, save again. I forgot that this is the save spot already. All right. Yeah, we can overwrite Kumuro entrance. Okay, that wasn't. You know what? Maybe it just took a long time making the first save, and now subsequent saves won't take that long. I was worried about, like, the, the CD drive, but I think that okay. Oh. oh. He's like a little blue s Oh, that's like a thing. Oh. Uh, it's like a Jap- I don't- I don't know what it's called, but it's like a Japanese thing to do with, um... Like your spirit. It's different than like, it's different than like souls in like Christian theology, but like it's a thing that I forget what it's called. Hitodama, is that it? There's a small piece of paper on the floor. It looks like a piece of notebook. Oh, research notes. But there's another rope, September 12th. And another rope. Okay. We're, we're solving a mystery. Okay. The capture circle, which you think is also on the clock, are Sidam characters, which are the Chinese zodiac used in Buddhist funeral rites. Oh no. Well, that and the strangling ritual seem to uh, bode, bode ill for us. Yeah, wow. This... It's so striking to come back here in color, and without the film grain, it's like, well, it's, it's night and day. Oh, the rope physics. Wait, wait, wait. It's kind of, it's kind of jingling. Rope physics, you'll get caught up in the rope physics. Hell yeah. Can we, like, move it with the, with the, with the flashlight movement? Hang on. Maybe the flashlight arm doesn't have collision. Oh, I don't I don't think it I don't think her arm goes up high enough to do anything. Oh well, I had to try. But yeah, I remember hearing about Tito Dama in reference to like oh. So it's Miku and Mafuyu. I want to. I want to try and remember that. We we are now Miku. We got the camera. 
Oh, his notebook was there. Okay, Mafu, what did you leave for us? Humoro Mansion Investigation. Humoro Mansion was once the home of a large landowner that controlled vast areas of land. They also say that the site held some special significance that had to do with Shinto rituals of the region. I couldn't find any detailed books about these Shinto rituals, though. The last master of the Humoro family line massacred his entire household. Later, another family that tried to live there disappeared. Because of incidents like these, nobody visiting the mansion today... Oh, nobody visits the mansion today, and it lies in ruins. Oh, gruesome. Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals, and why the exact location of the place isn't recorded anywhere. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to this mansion. I'm leaving notes in this notebook, just in case anything happens to me. I've got to find Mr. Takamine and the others fast. I hope it's not too late. He called him Sensei, so I guess he was a, he was a teacher or a mentor of some kind. Takamine Sensei. There are many other notes and news articles inside the notebook. Oh. Man on a beam. Was he saying Namuro? Somebody's name, maybe? Spooky. I like I like this. I like the 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 mystery. Do we have other files? So we had we had these. Exactly, ex exactly with uh, Takamine Sensei, because she said in the intro subtitles it just says that he was indebted to to Mr. Takamine. But yeah, I guess I don't know. I wonder, but I wonder if. Uh, Mafuyu is training to be like an investigative reporter or something. Or or he's just like researching the occult. Uh, Mr. Takamine needs some background material for his next work. Kind of bothers me that the Mr. There's no space between the Mr. and Takamine. Uh, Mr. Takamine. There's a book about Himuro Mansion by a certain folklorist, and I'm supposed to look for it. A book about Shinto rituals and legends from every part of the country. Uh, title unknown, Ryo Ryozo Munakata. Or it's probably Ryo... Ryo it's, it's probably that weird... I say weird. It's probably that difficult to pronounce um, single syllable that's like... Ryo, Ryozo? Like, kind of like that. Like the main guy from... Uh, uh, from Shenmue. Ryo. I can't find the book, but I did f some checking on the folklorist. I found out he moved into Himoro Mansion to do research on it, but after some uns some some certain event, I guess also uncertain applies here, he and his whole family disappeared. It's uncertain what the event was, I guess. I couldn't find the book, but I found a news article from that period about it. It's a small missing person story, but it might be helpful as background material. Okay. So, is that the next one? 11 a.m. It looks like the earthquake last month and the murders in that village have something to do with Humoro Mansion. This stuff is probably all going into Mr. Takamine's next book. He really seems to be into this subject matter. His output rate should be good. Uh, at 4 p.m. The entrance door is broken. When in the world did that happen? It won't open. I'll have to find another way out. So these are when he was at the man... No. These are when he was at the mansion. No, that can't be. This is before the mansion. When did he arrive at the mansion? I guess maybe he's talking about the entrance door to the, uh, like, whatever building they were in. Definitely Rio and not Rio, like some people think it's pronounced. Yeah. I mean, you gotta be fair to, like, non- non-Japanese speakers. Like, that's- that's just how it gets anglicized, and then- you don't know what it what it's supposed to look like. But we can take a little bit of uh we can take a little bit of of uh, correction when when we make our mistakes like that. I haven't been feeling well since two nights ago. Actually, it's more like ever since Tomoe Tomoe? I guess the E's there for a reason, like, right? So Tomoe or Tomo. Uh ever since Tomoe I'm gonna say Tomoe, because I think that's supposed to be it. Took my picture. What in the world does the, the rope in this photo mean? Oh, who's this Tomoe? 
Oh, this is Editor Ogata. Oh, right, right, right. This is not, um, this is not Mafuyu. Ogata is here with Takamine. So I guess they arrived, uh, on this night when the door, like, uh, was stuck. And somebody took his photo, uh, and there's, like, a rope. Maybe there's a rope trying to get around his neck or something. Oh, this is the, now there's another rope. And another rope. Like, it looks like delirious nonsense. I, I like... I wonder, I, maybe these are supposed to be, like, Mafuyu's, um, uh, uh, footnotes here. But I kind of like to think that this is Miku's notes, and she's kind of being very judgmental. Like, uh, she's not the, like, uh, precious waif that she might seem to be in the cutscenes. Oh, you're saying there- Mav, you're saying there's mostly people are insisting that it's supposed to be Ryo or Ryu, instead of just admitting it's hard to pronounce. Oh yeah, like, Ryu Jinx, uh, uh, emulator, yeah. Or like, I don't know. There's probably also, isn't there, uh, there was that old, uh, cartoon, Project Lyoko, and people definitely say, and I don't know if it was an anime adapted or if it was, like, a western animated thing, but people definitely said Lyoko, and in the show I think they said it that way too, which doesn't help. Uh, okay, Ogata's notes five. There seem to be a few devices in this mansion that are engraved with old characters. When I asked Mr. T Mr. Takamine about them, he said they corresponded to numbers. I understand the first few. They're the old characters for the numbers 0 through 3. Oh, like old um, kanji, I guess? Or, or older than kanji? But I don't get the rest. They're characters that have the same reading as 4 through 9, but mean something different. Oh, this might be, an, this might be related to the puzzle I'm thinking of. Maybe they give us all the clues. Gamer, I gave you all the clues. You could have solved the puzzle. Oh, oh, I mean, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> we have our, uh, we have our, um, codex right here. I guess each one has a special meaning. I'll figure out the rest later. Cool. This is gonna be a very reedy, uh, game, I think. Or at least we're getting the reading done out of the way, uh, early. There was a report yesterday that a star novelist, Junsei Takamine, age 42, has been missing since the 8th of this month. Mr. Takamine's assistant, Tomoe Hirasaka, and his editor, Koji Ogata, are also missing. Okay, Hirasaka- I guess Hirasaka is the, was the lady in the uh, flashback from before. And Ogata was the, the other, like, middle-aged guy. Mr. Takamine last made a phone call to his publishers on September 8th regarding his research trip and has not been heard from for 14 days. The publishers first assumed that the research was taking longer than expected, but since there were no calls from Mr. Ogata, they decided to file a missing persons report. <laughs> 42 and he had completely white hair. 42 isn't that old. I mean, hey, like, I, I don't know, like, men's hair cha can change color around, like, 35, doesn't it? I'm- I'm barely the- I'm not even that old yet, and I'm getting gray hairs all over. Maybe- maybe it was part of his work. Maybe he's like... He's like, uh, done- had too many all-nighters, and has like, strained out his hair- hair. All of his color of his hair. Or he might be blonde. Maybe- maybe he dyes it. We didn't see any color there. Okay, so yeah, so we have the clock. Uh, like you were saying, Mav. We have the clock with these symbols, and I guess they correlate to... I guess they correlate to this. But there's more than nine, aren't there? Okay, I can recognize the number. Let's look for number nine and number one on the on the in-game clock here. Oh boy, it's so low resolution, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, no, there are 12 in there, so I don't know. Maybe we're missing some characters. But these don't look like they correlate exactly. Okay. We've driven one ghost. This is blocked still. He bleached his hair to look more refined or dignified. Yeah, yeah, totally. It was for clout. And uh, it would look really good on uh, his author photo on his books. Oh, little loading screen, I guess. Some of the soundscape here makes me think a lot of Resident Evil 4. 
I wonder if they had a similar uh, sound engineer on this. Oh, I kind of wanted to look at this shelf. I guess we don't need to. Wait. Nothing. I feel like these little chests on the ground are important, but I guess not. Line mask on the chest of drawers. Yeah, this, the like really slow... I guess this is like a stretched out gong sound that keeps coming through. Very spooky. Um, or maybe it's even meant to be like a, like a temple bell that's been like kind of stretched out. A medicine container near the ground mask. Okay, herbal medicine. <laughs> Depending on how good I am at this, we uh, may need that a lot. Yeah. So it's a little a little trick with tank controls is if you have the quick turn. Oh, black notebook. That doesn't look sinister at all. Oh, it's Takamine plotting his next work. Series of murders in a country village. Dead bodies turn up one after another. Murders that resemble cruel Shinto rituals of legend in the area. The acts of a man sworn to revenge and the strange correlation between these acts and the folklore. Death Note. Oh no, it is the Death Note. I, I was kind of thinking it for a second, but I was like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, quick, Miku, read the note. Read the rules first and be sure you be sure you understand how they work. <sighs> Holy crap. And like, don't actually use the book. Whatever you do. The man is gradually more and more influenced by the legends. The work will be the story of this man, proceeding in parallel with the tales of the local lore. Oh, he's just, oh right, he's a novelist. He's not an investigator. He's like, he's doing a, um, I don't know, he's like a Stephen King kind of novelist where he's like, he's like, uh, I need to find my inspiration out in the, in the, in the strange places. I know, Stephen King's not the best example. I'm trying to... I, I can't think of an example. Uh, records of the past discovered after an earthquake. The story gradually blurs the boundary between the present and the past. July 24th. About Himuro Mansion. Himuro Mansion is known as the home of a large landowner that controlled this region. But they say it was originally the place a shrine was built for performing a sh certain Shinto ritual passed down through the generations. But the people of that time kept the ritual a deep, dark secret. They were even forbidden to speak its name aloud. Today, almost no accounts of the ritual exist aside from a smattering of folklore legends. On a news clipping. See, I kind of wonder, um... Is Shinto seen as like this sort of old, like occult dark thing in Japan, or is it kind of like a spectrum of like there were different practices and like maybe some of them could be like evil witchery and some of them could be like good witchery? You know what I mean? I, I like said evil witchery and I was like, well, let's not paint let's not paint a broad stroke of, of witches as evil. That's like a bad stereotype. Because <laughs> there's good witches. Uh, the earthquake the other day destroyed all five mirrors, the holy mirrors, which were artifacts kept for centuries in the five shrines. These mirrors represent the five gods' protection over this region. Oh, what five gods? Uh, wait, I know this one. Water, fire, earth, steel, and, uh, plant. I think that's it. Most commonly known for the five gods' festival held every ten years, when all five mirrors gathered in one shrine. The priests of the shrine hope that this isn't a bad omen. Okay. What's she looking at? Quickly, I want to read the, the news the news clipping. Okay. I wish they didn't mark it as new when I already read it, but then maybe that's maybe that's fine. The earthquake the other day destroyed all five mirrors. Oh, I read that already. Wait, I thought there was another scrap. Or no, she took the black notebook scrap and the thing. Okay. Uh, you're not really certain. You know Shintoism is mainstream alongside Buddhism. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of thought, because there are a lot of um, symbols for Shinto temples um, on the map when I was, when I visit Japan. So I, I was thinking uh, that it must be at least like practiced in some capacity. 
Oh, it's Brother Shadow, bro. Brother. Alphonse. I mean, Miku. Okay, what do you see? What are you looking at here? Something inside the drawer. Yeah, film. Yeah. I guess, you know what? Maybe it's like they're, they're emphasizing how, like, the old ritual, right? So maybe it's like, you know, Shinto... Shinto priests of the past having, like, a, a strange magic or, um... Uh, like, it's not, like, cool anymore. I don't know. I can't think of a good, like, correlation. But, you know, sometimes there just aren't good correlations for cultural things. The clock is stopped at 11.45. Okay, that's gonna be important, isn't it? Uh... It's almost 11.45 on this clock. Which is not real time, but I guess it... Maybe it progresses in real time, but it's related to, like, the actual game. If someone's in there, maybe you could knock. I'm sure the sinister chanting isn't anything bad. The comparison you'd make is like how cults in the US are some flavor of Christianity, but twisted. Twisted a bit. Oh yeah, that could be it. What's here is a, what might be, what's here is a weird Shintoism for story plot. Yeah, that's, that feels like a good comparison. Oops. There's also, like, kind of, uh, pseudoscience kind of stuff can, could be another comparison point where it's, like, the veneer of science, but otherwise, um, otherwise, like, being very, very poorly, uh, uh, but described by people who don't really understand the subject matter. I don't, f I don't feel anybody's presence behind the sliding screen. Well, that's interesting. Well, that's right. They can see things that um, other people don't. So I guess they can also feel presences. Oh, wait. What's this on the wall? Is that like a thing? It looks like a s symbols. Nothing. It may have been pretty once, but it's faded now. I feel like there's something behind this. No? I guess not. Or if there is, then I can't go through it to see. Okay, so I need to find a key. <laughs> One of them, like, steps out and is like, Can you stop that racket? Stop stomping around out there. Oh. oh, it's Ogata. Are you there? Oh. I don't think you can take a photo on the stairs, can you? I feel really dumb if, you, if I miss that. Oh, no, I could have turned and got him. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, well. Lesson learned. Uh, maybe we gotta wait until 11.45. That seems like a long time. Uh, but no, probably let's go to uh, where he vanished behind the thing. Also, I feel like shouldn't she have the camera, like, around her neck or something? So she can, like, grab it? It seems like it's just sort of... Yeah, it just sort of materializes in her hands. Where she's got, like, a really big pocket in that skirt somewhere. Oops. <laughs> oh, 
This is the girl that said help. Use the camera. Camera controls too. In finder mode, you can see things that can't be seen with the naked eye. Try taking a photo of the controller vibrates, or you hear strange noises. It seems a little strange because isn't. I wonder maybe this got lost and this got mixed up in the translation, but it seems like um. The whole point is that Mafuyu and Miku had um are able to see things that others don't. But maybe I guess that's why we're seeing ghosts anyway. And the camera's like more, like lets us focus, focus our abilities. Uh, door appears where the screen should be. So. Oh, we just move it, okay. I was like, oh, is it like a fake screen? And it's like, no, it's just, we revealed that there was a door. What's well, another? Uh, I forget what it's called. Well, I guess that's Ogata. What role? Huh. I want to see what's over here, though. What's this door? Is this not a door? It's a secret door? It's got different shading. This is a door. Well, it's kind of unusual, like a heavy metal swinging door in an old mansion like this. Hey, more reading. Late yesterday, a human body with no limbs was found in Himuro Mountain, located in the southern region of the prefecture. Ew. The body's hands, feet, and head were all torn off. The police are investigating the case as both a murder and accident. Um, okay. Uh, sure. Accident? Like a, like an industrial accident? Is that what the ropes are for? Hands, feet, and head. It's like a like getting drawn and quartered. Or like the horse thing. Oh, Takamini looks like he's 60 in this image. Oh no. Yeah. Maybe maybe some maybe he's been like doing some Shinto rituals himself. It's sapping his life energy. The body has not been identified, but it is believed to be a man around the age of 30. The police is. The police are also taking into consideration the fact that a body mutilated in the same manner was found in the same location 15 years ago. I assume it's a copycat murderer. Whoops. Huh. Wandering man. I wonder what- whoops. I meant to close the camera. I wonder what he said. I don't like that. I don't like the slowed down voice. Looks a film. What's oh, a new roll? Thirty seven. Can I actually do something with it? No, there's no the camera menu is not open. I guess we can't do anything yet. Doesn't have very strong exorcismal power. This has fairly strong exorcismal power. Save that for the, uh... Oh, we can't just load it anywhere. Okay, cool. I thought we could only load film at the save points for some reason. That, would, that wouldn't seem right. Picture of flowers on it is hanging here. It's faded and sad now. Alright. 
Uh, I guess we open this door because it's like the, the like side face it closer to us. Oh, thank goodness. It's just a really run-down tape deck. Oh, I'm sorry, is that yours? Oh, dang it! I was too slow. Man. I thought I would have a minute. I mean, if he's a spirit, then we knew he didn't survive. <laughs> oh, and the heartbeat, the heartbeat rumble. I, I actually, I really like this heartbeat rumble thing. Shoulder massage to death. <laughs> he was. Oh shucks. It seems to work. Stopped in the middle. That wasn't open before. Yeah, that was spooky. Preparing fish in here. Oh. oh, where is he? No. Oh, good grief. I keep missing him. Am I going to get a bad ending because I didn't photograph all the people? Oh, hey. Something's missing here. Small mirror stand. Oh, it, almost, it look, looks more like a spyglass to me, but all right. His massive chest. Oh, kimono chest. Yeah, so so far it seems like there's this malicious, like, kimono wearing person, maybe a woman. And then the girl who wants help to help us. Steal your resolve. Oh, I missed it. Okay, it knocks him back. Okay, that, that was really that was really sloppy. I hope that it can do better. Okay. Tend to glow with mystical power. Camera's seal. Oh, it's evolved into a dugon. You can acquire mystical power by damaging ghosts. Select camera from the menu screen. Oh, power-ups. Oh, there's a leveling system. Actually kind of... I don't know how I feel about that. It, it's probably fun. Uh, you can unlock the seal with accumulated mystical power and power up. When you unlock auxiliary function seal, you enable many special attacks. Oh, press the L1 button while in a shooting stance. Uh, the number of auxiliary functions are limited to the number of spirit stones in your inventory. Well, that's cool. Let's see what this is. Is this the key I'm looking for? Oh, another tape. Can't open it. Nailed shut. Oh, duh. For some reason... <laughs> these are kimonos being hung up to dry or, or um, I guess, to be washed. Or maybe to, like, keep their shape. 
For some reason, I thought they were like skinned animals or fish or something. That's not what they are at all. Oh, wait. Where is it? Something here. Oh, I mean, it's this, but sure. Something shows in the photo. It looks like the lion mask near the sunken fireplace. Otherwise known as a fire pit. Okay, so let's see about the camera. Uh, we got film. Basic performance. Oh no, oh, it's like... Oh, it's like Dark Souls style. You can upgrade for a, a set cost of, uh, of stuff. And bonus. Pressure, puss, go puss, puss ghosts back. Make those ghosts afraid. They're gonna puss out. Like a little cat. Slow down their movement for a limited duration. C, make ghosts more visible. Or paralyze. Stop them for a duration. Or search. Searches for locations of ghosts and tracks them automatically. Oh, like... Interesting. Okay. I think I want to save up for, like, one of these before I start doing the basic performance. Yeah, and then we, we haven't unlocked any of those. Use L1 to add Israeli functions. Okay, cool. Because we could upgrade, like, one or two basic things, but I kind of don't want to. Uh, okay, we did this one. That was the no limbs. Camera controls. Power-ups. Whoops. Okay, cool. Uh, can we not listen to the tape? この屋敷のことは地図にも載っておらず、麓の村の住民に聞いてようやく場所を突き止めることができた。聞いた話ではこの氷室邸にはもう数十年にわたって人が住んでいないという屋敷の場所を聞いた人々が口を揃えて行か
Okay, well, either way, it's time for the midstream break. And look at that, it's it's just about right. We've been playing for about an hour. Uh, so enjoy the music. I'm going to go take a break, like four or five minutes, and I'll be back and we'll keep exploring the mansion. Men mansion. The, me the, the medkin. The medkin exploring the mansion. There's a little bit of a language joke. Uh, here we go.
Hey, I'm back. Oh yeah, the slow tape deck is still playing. Oh, and you brought Cheezer, the rat. Always welcome. <laughs> back here, Omak. Good to meet you, Omak. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be back, pla back platypy. Oh, you went to see what the ghost might have been saying. It's hard to tell. You think the Japanese might be ni Nigasai, or you can't run or escape, according to the Zero Wiki, but it doesn't show up in the English dub. Yeah, that's strange. Well, uh, let's uh, exit out of here without worrying about this other guy. I feel like we're... S oh no, we gotta go to the lion statue. I was like, I feel like we missed something. Oh, guy, 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 guy. Ah, dang it. Man, I feel bad that I got that I got hurt. Oh, that was sad. Uh, I feel like I could have kept going to that door and made some distance. First. Okay, how how are we doing? Oh, we got a lot of life. Is that Ogata again? I feel like that. I feel like the first one that we fought was Ogata. Maybe maybe these are different people. Man, I was thinking about your back massage joke. Man, and I could I feel like I could use the back massage. I got like a real I've got like a real knot in my uh in my upper left shoulder shoulder uh shoulder blade. Yeah, see I would call this a fire pit rather than a sunken fireplace. Is that is that a better terminology than the one they used? Oh, there's something reflecting light inside the ornamental mask. Oh, it's just like under the mask. A red hand mirror. Let's both go to the haunted mansion because you could use one too. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the misses of the mansion is uh, is a very good masseuse apparently. Okay, can you be more specific, please? Did that not count? Oh man. I had the I had the blue ring. Whoops. Standing man. Okay, I know sometimes they'll like teleport behind you. Kinda have to like poke around and use the little detector thing. Okay. Oh, we got stuck on a lamp. Funny, the ropes have physics, but the lamps don't. I guess because they have a light source. Uh, so this game is being successful being spooky. Because I don't trust... Anything that's happening. I don't trust that we're safe anywhere. Like, we've been assaulted by the same ghost three- it feels like. Three times so far. I don't know, maybe that one- maybe we got rid of that one. Oh. It was like a, a lock. Tied up. I can see the faint shadows of ropes on the man's neck, arms, and legs. Got a small key. Ah, shit. Okay, uh, we do this. Wait, is he just behind me? Oh, let's make some distance. Where are you? Oh no, I hit the thing! 
Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, no. Get away. Ah. Oh, crap. Uh. Oops. Nope. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, it's freaking items. Okay, here we go. Herbal medicine, yes. Quickly. Oh, we got him a little bit. Ah, oh, dang it. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Oh, shit. Oh, I missed him. Okay. This guy's a tricksy one. Oh. Man, I'm doing really bad now. You hit it when you hit the thing. Okay, I think we actually got this one. Oh, there's something shiny where the ghost wants to. We freed your spirit. This mysterious stone enhances the gamer's power and enables auxiliary functions. Okay. Sorry, Miku, you, uh, you should not have taken so much damage there. Okay, we have three stones. Uh, how did that work again? When you unlock auxiliary function seal, you enable many special attacks. Oh, the number of functions you can use is limited to your... Spe okay, so it's ammo for the special abilities, if I unlock them. I've got 9,000, so I can't get anything here yet. Uh... I feel like pressure is a good one. Although the ghosts like to teleport, maybe. Or slow. I guess we'll see as I play. Um, oh, widens the capture circle. Speeds up the charge time and increases the maximum charge. Yeah, these kind of like are at odds with each other because if you want to get to the max, you kind of need to speed up. You know what, let's put a little speed on this one. Yeah. Uh... And I don't want to use another herbal medicine right away, but maybe we should. I feel like let's hold off on that for a bit. Okay, we got a key. It's gotta be a door, right? Keep feeling the rumble because I, I think I'm turning towards this, even though we've already used it. Anyway. Oh, now the chanting's gone because we dispelled, we exercised the spirit. I wonder what they would use, I wonder what word they would use for exorcise in Japan, in Japanese. God, the, the, like, shadows make it look like there's something there, you know? Anyway. Um, but wondering about Japanese... Actually, I think I wonder more specifically if they have a word that, like, doesn't really correlate to the way that we use exorcise. But, like, it has some other meanings to it. Like, it's not so much that... Oh. Like, rather than, um, rather than, like, dispelling a spirit, it's more like appeasing a spirit. Okay, I want to save, and so far the only save point has been this way. Wait, 
What are we looking at? Oops. He has a few words because there's banishing, cleansing, purifying, etc. And they're all different. Yeah. You know what? Purifying sounds pretty close to, like, exorcism. Or the way that we used exorcism. And I wonder what their intentionality is in this game with uh, with sh uh, capturing the ghosts on camera. Because it feels kind of like we're purifying them, but like... Or is it like we're ensuring that they move on to whatever the next stage of afterlife is? Or like returning to... Returning to like the greater spiritual something? I don't know. I don't know enough about Shinto and uh, Buddhism to get a good to get a good sense of it. I mean, in Buddhism, it would be that we're um, allowing them to depart to reincarnate in their next uh, the next part of their spiritual journey in their cycle. Oh my God! It's another girl. That's oh, just me. Uh, right. Which, of course, the Buddhist cycle is very different from Hinduism, where, like, at some point you achieve enlightenment in Buddhism, and I think in Hinduism you're just sort of always... the, the cycle is never-ending. I think that was one thing that was appealing about Buddhism, is that there's, like, an end. Not the only thing, though, obviously. You know, I wonder if it makes a big difference to run around, if that, like, aggravates the spirits. Yeah, Nirvana, that's it. With Buddhism. And there isn't really... I don't think there's anything like Nirvana for, for Hinduism, I don't think. What's this? Oh, a, a jar? No. Or like a, like some kind of a thing. There's an old book written in charcoal ink on the shelf underneath the urn. What's oh, an urn? That's it. Ooh, that looks like old book. Secret rituals of the Himuro family. Many rituals and customs have been passed down through generations of the Himuro family. Most of them are lost. The only things we have left now... Oh, excuse me. Oh, the only things we have left now are some documents that record these rituals as a legend. Hardly any of the oral history remains. This is all be this is because all Himuro family members are dead, and those who are close to the family have kept quiet about the ritual. <laughs> kind of makes me think of the uh, uh, um, Hill House, like the Hill House um, Netflix thing, a little bit. One ritual in particular performed on December thirteenth is shrouded in mystery. People who lived near the mansion stayed inside on that particular day, and even now it is considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that date. I can only assume that this is due to the cruel nature of the ritual, but the truth remains unknown. Oh, Nirvana... Wait, Hinduism is where Nirvana originated from? So they do have it? Because it's written in Sanskrit? That, that's, that's how it's spelled in Sanskrit? Ah, okay, maybe I'm wrong. I thought I remembered learning that... Yeah. I misremembered my learning then. I thought the point of... But oh, you know what it is? I think it's like the path to Nirvana is different in Buddhism. Um, maybe they reject the whole, like, implied caste system thing? I don't know. Because, like, the yeah, caste system is not inherent to Hinduism. It just sort of emerged from the presuppositions of, like, how the cycle works, of how the cycle of reincarnation works. Something on the floor. Yo, maybe I should use herbal medicine, I've, I've gotten so much of it. I don't know. That's a topic that I don't, I don't think I should even talk about. It's just the way that I learned about it. Uh, is all that I can reflect on. A small kimono hangs here from the size that looks like a little girl's. It's faded now. The little girl that, that wants help, or to help us. Sturdy old looking, a sturdy looking old desk. They don't make them like they used to, did they, Miku? Do they?
I want to light all these candlesticks that we keep finding. I'm glad that our flashlight is so reliable. Oh, okay. It was the, at the end of the loop, like, happened to line up with me coming out here, I think. Is there a shiny down here? No. She's just looking at the table. It's just a, it's just a really good, it's just a really good sturdy table. Like, they just, they just don't make them like they used to. Miku, like, really appreciates good woodworking. All you know are that the British are responsible for the caste system. Oh, really? As it is today. Uh, they must have, uh, really put... I mean, I guess that serves their goals, doesn't it? The wealthy deserve to be wealthy and the poor deserve to be poor kind of thing. Oh, an audio tape. Research one. Oh, huh, maybe this is, uh... The, the sensei guy. Forgot it. Takamine? I'm forgetting names already. Book like part of a red notebook. Oh, that's a nice notebook. It seems a folklorist named Ryozo Munakata was studying about the various rituals passed down at Himuro Mansion. He supposedly left a book of research, but I can't find it anywhere. wonder if there's a copy in the library somewhere. All these people recording 30 seconds of audio on these cassette tapes. Yeah, it's so wasteful. Tapes could hold, like, maybe like an hour, 45 minutes, some of them. Uh, I know it was just short of, like, what a, a long playing record could hold, because, like, um, I remember some some of my dad's tapes that were that he recorded from records would only... They couldn't hold the entire side of one record, so, like, the next... The last track on side A would have to be on side B of the tape, or uh, or what or what have you. Or you could record the tape um, uh, with more tracks at once, and they would be like higher fidelity. But usually, you do two sides. I still can't find the book. I'll have Koji Ogata from the editing department do a search for it. I doubt he'll be able to find it though. Oh, the red notebook is probably the the lady, the third person in their in their entourage who maybe forgot. Nice. I like this little, I like this little room. It's also got the, the little girl's kimono. I wonder if this is her room. It's like a safe place because she, because she is our, our friend. So her room is a safe place to be. And it's quiet and peaceful. There's an old Japanese doll here. Its kimono is all faded. Funny, no dust though. She still plays with her doll. As a ghost. The dampness has warped the chest of drawers. They won't budge. Aw. Oh. It's all warped. See, Miku, <laughs> Miku is, like, clearly... Miku, like, really appreciates good wood woodworking and, and the... and the sad state of, uh... of warped, uh, stuff.気になるものが写っている。At the photographer who took the photo. They're playing Oni Tag. <laughs> is that a real thing? Whoever whoever's it is the Oni. August twentieth twentieth. I, I don't know why I was adding a thing. It is a real thing. Oh. That's quite that's that's quite uh considering how uh, dark and dangerous this is. It's quite unfortunate. It seems a folklorist named Ryoza Munakata was studying about the very... Oh, wait. I read this already. Still can't find the book. Okay, so yeah, this is the lady whose name I don't remember. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't name... I guess I can't name 100 women in t 20 minutes or whatever that thing was. 
Oh yeah, we read this too. Cool. I'm just kind of like, I guess I'm just scrolling through these to, um, uh, to mark them as, as stuff that I've already looked at. But maybe I shouldn't do that because I've only looked at them once. Oh right, I was going to um, eat an herbal medicine. There we go. Okay, it's a little bit less than like half of your max, so I think that's safe. I think that's a good idea to do before saving. I mean, I guess technically there, maybe Oni tag isn't so on the nose because there aren't. I don't think we've encountered any Oni in this place. It's just been human ghosts. Oh, oops. I got my buttons confused again. Which is funny because I was just navigating the menu. Correctly. See, I wonder if I'm, if like non-Japanese players would be so confused by the way the doors work in this. Like, see this? Like, I know that these are like some big sliding double doors, but I don't know if you would recognize this from, uh, from not being familiar with Japanese culture. I'm looking up the cassette tapes, there's a variety on how much one could hold based on the actual tape in the tracks recorded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you could get higher fidelity if you recorded on, like, all four tracks on a cassette tape, because I think it had four. Like, a stereo tape would have four tracks, so you could do two for, like, side A and two for side B. But yeah, there's a lot. A lot for the audio files out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Mago. The doors, the doors and like the structure of the house probably wouldn't be obvious without being familiar with it. I mean, it's something that you take for granted. Also, these are, this is like an old Japanese mansion, so it's not like, it might have even been a little unfamiliar to like Japanese people playing when this game came out. But I don't know. I don't, I wonder how often like Japanese, uh, like young Japanese people at this time would have gone to like their grandparents' house and it and it kinda like had some of these this design to it. Like there were buildings that survived the war and stuff. Oh, there's a library in here. Rows of old books. One of the houses you grew up in had sliding doors, so it's not unheard of in the US. It just depends on how on what pe features people want, yeah. No, that's true. I say that my uh our house, uh, my dad built out the basement into, like, a rec room, and, um, it was easiest to just build in sliding doors, and they were pretty crap. They would get, like... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, dang it. I pressed circle too many times and I'd lost my chance. I didn't want to come here. My instincts told me to. Oops. Oh, several pieces of paper. Koji is Ogata. Yeah. Gotcha. The more I find out about Humor Romance and the creepier it gets. I'm sure it's the perfect subject matter for Mizutakamine's next book. But to be perfectly honest, I don't like this assignment one bit. It gives me a bad feeling. Now, I'm trying to remember what the woman's name is. Um, I'll, I could look up the I could look up the file. There's no way I want to go to that mansion, but it's my job, right? I guess I'll have to go, and I wouldn't want to waste the chance to work with Mr. Takamine just because of a little bit of uneasiness either. It doesn't help I have this sixth sense for the supernatural either. Oh, there's such a thing as knowing too much sometimes. Oh, is that why- is that why she's on their- they're in their little entourage? Also, I want to look up because I feel dumb for not- for not remembering- not remembering who the characters' names are. Uh... No, it's on the- it's on one of the, uh, newspaper clippings, right? It says, like, Takamini and Ogata and somebody else are going to this thing. No, it's not this. Oh, his editor, Koji Gara, his assistant, Tomoe, Tomoe, I, how did I forget Tomoe? I like made a whole thing about like trying to figure out how to pronounce her name. Tomoe Hirasaka. Okay. All right, 
right, this is another room, another long hallway with a mirror at the end of it. I wonder if that's like a strategic thing. Like there's old armor in this building, like maybe this place was built um, at a time when you needed to defend yourself against like another Lord's samurai or something. Or like Ronin that uh, after the big like, after all the wars that happened at that time and they don't have any master um, left. Oh, it's stuck. Although, actually, no, now that I think about it, mirrors... Aluminum was such a rare commodity, and mirrors use... Like, traditionally use aluminum, like, the mirrors of that size. It must have been, like, a luxury thing. Whoever originally owned this mansion and set up those mirrors was showing off their wealth. Nissan. Nissan. <laughs> oh, I called it. Nope, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Oh, dang it. I don't know if there's anything I can do to get out of that faster. Nope, no, no, no. Oh, dang it. Uh. Okay, quick. Yeah, mirrors used to be. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I had to turn off the um, because I'm on a console. I can't hear the uh, I can't hear this the audio alerts anymore. So they're not. Sorry, they're disabled for this playthrough. It's hard to follow this guy. Oh, I thought I got him. Okay, jeez. I did kind of learn its pattern, though. He lunges when... He goes, like, really low to the ground when he's about to lunge. Um, didn't help me out much. Jeez. Okay, we survived, we survived. Uh, still not a lot of, uh, points to use. And they gave me these stones, like, oh, you can use the auxiliary functions, but I don't... I can't unlock any of the auxiliary functions. <laughs> okay. They're shining in through a crevice. I can't see what's shining in here. Ooh, an old news article. On the night of the 3rd, the police received a report that four children failed to return home after 9 p.m. There's an old superstition in the surrounding villages about children being snatched away by ghosts, and some villagers indeed suspect that this is what happened to the four kids. Is there anything else in here? Uh, yeah. Oh, on the subject of the, uh, audio alerts, um, I did want to say that I tried to make it work. I could use OBS monitoring to... for the audio of the game and the alerts, but there's like a big delay. There's a big audio delay from the game capture if I do it that way, and that'll like make it probably really difficult to play the game. So sorry y'all. No uh no stream elements audio fun uh for the for you know for anything that's captured on like not my PC, basically. Or for anything that's not played on my PC, I should say. Hmm. 
This is the big film. It's the big boy film. Or I guess big or I guess big big woman film. In this case. Old school. On the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, the maiden, cut off from the outside world for three thousand six hundred sixty-nine long days, shall be torn apart to provide power to the rope. Huh. That's gruesome. Power to the rope. Hmm. Yeah, so far she's only said help. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Math. Those, uh, the, the red highlighted numbers are definitely going to be important. Luckily, they're still in the scrapbook for when I need them. I saw that woman in the white kimono again. She's trying to tell me something. She knows I have this special sense for ghostly things. The woman's name is Kyrie? So it's Kyria, huh? Kyrie? Domine I forget. Kyrie, Kyrie with a Y is like an old, um, it's a, uh, like a sacred song in, in, um, European music. I forget what it, I forget what it refers to though. Kyrie is something. I shouldn't get any closer than this. I don't want to get any closer. I'm scared. I put the notebook in my file. It's a box for a mortuary tablet and bone remains among the candles. The owners? Yeah, so this is another thing thing with the door. I want the shiny first, though. Hey, spirit stone. That I can't use yet. Okay, is this like a... Oh, is this one of those um, protective... Protect you against spirits tablets? There's another place in the photo. Yeah, I think we haven't been here yet. It's a new place. Okay. I've got my camera finger ready. For spirits. Whoop. So far the save spots have been kind of... Far apart. Makes me a little nervous. Oh, oh, hey, there's one. I hope that means this room is relatively safe. Sometimes the menu button is a little slow to respond to. That was like in my left ear. Okay, let's let's save before we go further. Oh, oh, Fuda on the door. The ones you carry are, carry are omamori. Oh. I'm learning a lot of Japanese today. Tonight. Just right. Oh wait, I should use the quick turn. Whip around. Oh man, in this dark room, that's almost like going to give you a like, light sensitivity warning. Oh, more death note. We found Ogata's body. Oh, his head, hands, and feet were strangled off. What happened to him is just like the strange deaths that occurred here long ago. There's a photo of Ogata near him. In it, there was something that looked like ropes on his neck, arms, and legs. I wonder if it has anything to do with the rope shrine maidens and the legends around here. The girls that had ropes tied to their neck, arms, and legs, too. Tomoe is acting strangely. She's been mumbling nonsense all morning. Something about ropes and mirrors? I don't know what she could possibly... T what, what ropes? What she, could she be possibly talking about? I can't blame her for going to pieces, though, after seeing what happened to Ogata. Oh, did he not know that she has, like, a sensitivity? Spirit, spiritual ghost sensitivity, extrasensory activity. 
Give thanks to the five gods' protection. Place the stone representing the five mirrors in the correct location. There's a stone for all five mirrors? <sighs> Going to pieces is exactly what happened to Elgata. Oh no. He accidentally made a bad joke. He accidentally made like a dark humor. Oh, talk about gallows humor, am I right? Because uh, gall the gallows, they, they, they're hanging at the gallows. Okay. Gosh, we can't. We can't. That it, it. It would only have been worse if he if he had said Elgata specifically. He's like, I can't blame. Oh, this is. Oh, we open the door with the stone that represents the five things. It was a low hanging joke. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, this is seen somewhere in terror. The door's closed fast. We so we have to open it slow. Humoro family crest. Well, it's kind of like a lotus leaf or lotus flower, I guess. Is that kind of the insignia going on underneath the, like, five-pointed star? It probably unlocks the door, but it's broken. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> you're right, Mav. He, because he was saying, like, I can't blame her for like, going to pieces over what happened to Ogata. It's, it's, as, it's as bad as it could be. Really, there's, like, there's no, uh, no better way. There's no uh, getting out of it. There's no worse that it could be. Also, you know what? It occurred to me, like, the lighting... This is a PlayStation 2 game. And, like, they're really showing off the lighting. It's, like, a huge thing. Yeah, thanks, translators. Oh, yeah, you know what? It probably was... A... It probably didn't say that in Japanese, because that would have been, like, really rude. Right? It would have been, like, really... Or, unless maybe that's intentionally, like, his character. I think it's like, it seems like he's meant to be more, like, oblivious to what's happening. Oh, right. Is this the end of the hallway? Oh, no, there's more. I stopped here, but there's more. Do we have... Oh, we do have a map. I was about to say, I wish we had a map. And we do! Uh, it's even marked with what's doors... What's, what's doors are, uh... Uh, locked and unlocked. Well, that's funny. <laughs> I guess with the sliding door, one of them is stuck, and so it's marked as locked. Even though it, like, isn't really. Um, I don't know what the yellow means. What is yellow? What does yellow mean? And then blue is a safe spot. A blue, blue dot. Okay. I can't help thinking of Resident Evil through all this as well, even though that was, like, years earlier. It's just, you know, once you play the- once you play one of the first se most seminal, uh, tank control horror games, then, like, you kind of can't- can't do anything else. Oh, buttons with characters this device must open the door. And it's also got the crest on it. There's engraving underneath, but it's gouged. You can only read some. You just barely make it out. You favor fail frame over Resident Evil? Interesting. The Shinto's ritual strangling and held on the day of from the gouged out words. Oh yeah, this is where the numbers are. Um And then we correlate these to the uh the numbers from the notebook. Was this one? I think this is one. Okay, let's look at our notes maybe and see if we can actually solve this right here and now, because maybe we can. Um, I want to see... Oh, interesting. Oh, this is Takamine's notes. Uh, and then Hirosaka. The research notes are... No, it was one that had three pages in it. Okay, number five has the numbers in it. Okay. Okay, I want to see if I can get this myself. Um, because the numbers, each one has a special meaning. So there's ten, all ten digits. And then the, um... 13, 12, 3, 6, 6, 9. 
Let's see what I can make out from this. Yeah, there are 10 here. Okay, so I just have to... Oh, boy. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, take a photo of the of the notebook scrap that actually says... I kind of wish you could look at the scrap and, like, have it available to, like, see it. Oh, man. I don't even know if it'll be good enough resolution to actually make out the characters, but I'll try. Oh, I think it will be. Okay. Uh, I think that'll do. Some of them are kind of similar. But as long as my phone doesn't turn off too fast, I can do it. Uh, and it was 1312-3669. So I think this is one, right? 13... So 13 would be... Wait, where's the 3? I think this one's the 3? Yeah. Yeah. Boy. It it kind of helps knowing that... Um... Oh, wait. Is it just supposed to be 3669? Like, the 13 and the 12 don't matter? Or maybe they do. I mean, let's try... Let's try 13 and 12. 13, and, oh, I see it. Okay, so zero, so this is zero and it goes counterclockwise, so I don't even need to take a photo, after all. Silly me. I can delete this. Okay, <laughs> that was an easier puzzle than I thought. Oh, thanks. Oh, Mav, you went into all that trouble and I already, <laughs> it was actually a simple. The, like, layout of the circle was simple enough uh, to figure out. Uh, but thank you. Girl pointing. Okay. Thank you. You helped me a lot, and because I took a photo, I won't forget. Nothing in the drawers. This almost looks like a tool chest from a distance, but it's, like, got these fancy, um, handles. Ah. I'm glad I checked it. This looks like very small armor. Yeah, I think as long as I remember what the Zero character looks like, I'll be able to find, uh... I'll be able to, like, confirm what the, the orientation of the, uh... Any future number wheels are powerful presence in the back of the room. Seductress. Oh. We unlock the door? Okay. I guess it wasn't that... Maybe it wasn't powerful, but like its presence was strong. Because, like, these other ghosts that we had to, like, actually fight are powerful. Yeah. So was she pointing us toward the medicine or something else? Okay. Oops. I imagine the little girls looking at us being like, What? I told you where to go. What the heck are you doing? Okay, but yeah, this is, this is the spot that was in the photo, so we cleared up... The... what's it? See, I said I thought we were learning... I thought we were learning Japanese, but I, I'm clearly not, because I don't remember what the word is. The... the seal. The, like, protective seal on the door. Which, now that I think about it... Is it a seal to keep something out, or to keep thing in? Oh, Fuda. Thank you. Thank you, Mav. We, uh, we burned up the Ofuda. It was used for both. Hmm. That's a little worrying. Hey, research. The disaster called the Calamity. The most horrible, tragic event ever, or whatever it was. 
Long ago, great tragedy struck this region. One legend calls this event the Calamity, but reveals no detail regarding the disaster which unfolded. The brief description of the event is as follows. The mirrors kept in the five shrines broke, and the dead returned from hell. I wonder what sort of disaster it must have been, because the passage can't be literal. Or can it? I don't like this. Uh, wait, I gotta pick this up. I don't want to fight up here. This is a tiny space. Oh man, you gotta really go down slowly. Oh no. Miku, we gotta go. We gotta go, Miku. That one was pretty- that was pretty powerful, man. Okay, are you gonna be there or are you gonna move somewhere? <laughs> no sense of urgency, yeah. I mean, it's like a ladder more than a stairway, so I guess she doesn't want to fall down and hurt herself, but still. <laughs> we could hustle a little bit. You could hustle a little bit there, Miku. Wait, did I? Oh! If you hold the circle button, you you can let it go to let your camera down. So I can do like this, and I'm like holding circle, and then I let it go and it goes down, or I can just tap it. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about that chest, Miku. We already examined it. We already got its contents. See, I'm really liking this game. Uh, but... We gotta go back to the safe spot, because it's about time to wrap up for the night. Yeah. Um, at least... I've only really played Resident Evil's 1 and 4. 4 doesn't really compare to this, it's a totally different game. Um, so I'm curious how I feel about them. I mean, Resident Evil 1 is, like, super camp. And I like that, I don't think it can really compare. So I think this would... I would compare... I think this would compare more to Resident Evil 2. Which takes itself more seriously. Um, and is actually arguably scarier. I mean, I found Resident Evil 1 pretty scary, but... It's so it's also very goofy that you kind of... You get to laugh at it. I wonder if that is how it plays out in Japanese, though. Like, is the Japanese Resident Evil 1 actually more serious? Yeah, and RE4 was total camp, exactly. And it's a shame, because, like... I imagine there's, like, a version of Resident Evil 4 that, like, combines the, like, better, like, the better character writing and, um, like, more respectful character designs of the Re4 remake, but keeps the tone of the original. Because I'm not totally, I haven't played the Re4 remake, but I'm not totally on board with the, with the tone. It, like... I don't know, it gets a little too serious for its own liking, I think. I think that kind of hurts it. Uh, well... Enough Resident Evil 4 talk. Uh... Can we get an angle where you can actually, like, face the camera? Here you go. Not really, she just wants to look at the door. Miku's like, I just want to look at the door so bad. Look at this head tracking technology. It's amazing. Fatal Frame, available now for the PlayStation 2. Uh, uh, well, thank y'all for joining me. This is very exciting. I wasn't sure what to expect from this, and it's kind of, it is kind of, it's got the spooky vibe that I wanted. And um, I think it's got the potential to be a scary, like an actually scary kind of game, like the way that I'm expecting. I love the, like we, like you called it before, Mav, the like jump scare, the like a FOMO jump scare. <laughs> That we're, like, afraid of missing something. I kind of love that. Uh, so I'm literally looking forward to next stream. This is exciting. So uh, look out till next time. Until then, I'll be seeing you.